All right, welcome to the September 22nd, 2020 City Council meeting. Madam Clerk, roll call, please. The record will reflect that all members of council are present. All right, we'll now take uh, public comment on agenda and non-agenda items. Uh, <clears throat> uh, thank you, Mayor O'Neill, members of the City Council. This is Jim Mosher. Uh, first comment I wanted to make is that I see the first item on your closed session has continued from two weeks ago, and it's regarding the West Newport Community Center property, which is currently under a 10-year lease to the Pacifica Christian High School. Uh, the Brown Act allows you to privately discuss an adjustment to the lease amount or the terms of payment, but the agenda says you're gonna be discussing price Price implies to many people that you may be considering selling the property. I think it is in the public's interest to know which of those it is that you're going to be talking about, and I see no public purpose that is served by not disclosing on the agenda which it is. What I really want to talk about is Roman numeral item, item number Roman numeral 13 on the regular evening agenda which is matters that council members would like to see placed on a future agenda. I have three concerns about this. The first is that this is an item in which the council will be voting on items that are announced on the agenda, but if it were not for this closed session, the public would have no opportunity at all to comment to you on them. The second concern I have is that when this item does happen, we see the spectacle of the council members being asked to cast votes without being able to say anything, not even to ask for clarification of what they're voting on. I don't think that gives the public the impression that we really are a thoughtful government. And my third comment is about the content of Roman numeral 13 on tonight's agenda. It includes an item about playground equipment, which is perfectly normal for a city council, but the second item involves a commitment to end child marriage in California. To the best of my knowledge, this city council has no jurisdiction at all over who marries whom in Newport Beach, let alone the rest of California. I do not think this is a proper matter, and I hope some of you will be voting no when Roman numeral 13 comes up tonight. Thank you. Thank you. Any other speakers? Do we have any callers? All right. Hi, go ahead. Yes, hi, this is Tony Duran calling. Hi, go ahead. Yes, hi, I just wanted to comment on the agenda item number 17 um, relating to the ocean uh, boardwalk. Go ahead. Okay, very good. Um, what, what I want to express basically is um, you know, the fact that micromobility is coming to us here in America, it's, it's been very prevalent in Asia and the UK, and <clears throat> the number of Americans who have purchased an electric bicycle, electric rideable, since COVID started, uh, combined has been 14% of Americans, uh, comparatively a pedal bicycle that was 11% and an automobile, truck or motorcycle, 7%. And um, <clears throat> I just think... You know, in terms of, the, of, the, of the, way, the way the city council is looking at this, I think we need to keep in mind that it's really the rider, not the vehicle, that makes any vehicle unsafe. And pedal bicycles can be ridden at higher speeds than some of the electric rideables that are coming into the marketplace. Um, <clears throat> in Huntington Beach, we had a, a most serious injury last year was with somebody riding a pedal bike, not an electric bike or not a scooter. Um, and if you consider the fact that that a driver, a rider can drive a car like a Toyota Prius at over 100 miles an hour and speed by a Porsche rider who's traveling at safely at 55 miles per hour, it makes you realize it's really, the, it, you know, is it the vehicle or the rider that's unsafe? And I think we just need to keep that in perspective because unsafe riders should be uh, dealt with. They should be fined and ticketed. But, uh, but in terms of, 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 of basically uh, not allowing all electric rideables or electric bikes, um, onto the uh, boardwalk, I think it's a, it's a big mistake for the city. Okay, thank you very much. Any other callers? Okay, thank you. Uh, all right, thank you. All right, we'll bring it back. Um, 
Uh, let's see, since we're in closed session, Mr. Hart. Thank you. The City Council will adjourn to closed session to discuss items 3A and B, including meeting with real property negotiators, Simone Georges and Lauren Wittlinger, regarding real property negotiations with Pacifica Christian High School related to the property at 883 West 15th Street in Newport Beach. And the City Council will be meet, meeting with legal counsel regarding the potential initiation of litigation in, in regards to two matters. All right. Uh, we'll stand recessed until our five o'clock regular meeting. Thank you.